This lecture is on how to find the required sample size in order to find a confidence, certain confidence interval. I'm going to step out of the way so we can read the problem together. It says weights of women are normally distributed with a population standard deviation of 30 pounds. A researcher wants to know the average weight of all women. How large a sample is needed to be 95% confident that the sample mean will be will not differ from the population mean by more than 2.4 pounds. All right, we're looking for a sample size, and we know from our pullout and from our lecture and from our textbooks that we need our formula that's based on the margin of error. It is z sub alpha over 2 times sigma over e. Remember, e is the margin of error. z sub alpha over 2 we've dealt with when we're finding the confidence interval, so that's just a z score. Sigma is always going to be given. So is e, our margin of error. You're looking for keywords differs from or something like within, and of course our number is 2.4. So z sub alpha over 2 is the only one that we're going to have to find. We've talked about finding this before, confidence intervals. Alpha is 1 minus our confidence, so 1 minus 0.95. 1 minus 0.95 is 0 0.05. Now we divide that number by 2 and we get 0 0.025. Now we just need that z-score that has 0 0.025 in the tails. All right, so remember you can look at the little rectangle underneath one of our, the t-table, and you should see the most popular ones that are used, which is 0 0.025. That z-score is 1.96. Now we've done all the work. All we have to do is just plug everything else in our calculators. Plug it into our formula, we know z sub 0.025 is 1.96. Sigma is 30, divided by e, which is 2.4, and then we're going to square it. So we have to multiply and divide, and then that answer will be squared. And you need to keep on doing it and don't cut off and round numbers until the very end. All right, so when we say 1.96 times 30, divided by 2.4, we get 24.5. We still have to square that. Remember that's 24.5 times 24.5. When we square that, that's 600.25. Now remember, we're taking a sample of women. We can't take 0.25 of a woman. That would be gross and sick. Can't do that. So what we do with our sample sizes, we always, no matter what our decimal is, we round up. So instead of 600.25, we're going to take a sample of 601. We always round up, and that concludes finding the required sample size.